it's me, Mr. Bruno. I am here to show you SCORE, how to create a career profile. This is going to be one of the videos in a SCORE series that we're putting together to help you learn some more about SCORE. If this is the first video you're watching, uh, you're going to need to make sure you have your SCORE profile created. You, In order to create your SCORE profile, you will have to have had an invitation code. Your invitation code would have been sent to you in your email. So make sure you check your school email. You will have gotten a SCORE invitation sent to you by myself or your counselor. It'll come as an email from SCORE though. So don't check your email from your counselor or from myself. Check an email from SCORE. Uh, your SCORE email was sent to you at the beginning of the year and I've sent it a few more times throughout. Most recently, the SCORE email would have been sent to you in the last few days. Just go ahead and search your email for that score email. If you do not have an email with an invitation code from SCORE, you can go ahead and email me, Mr. Bruno, and I will resend the invitation. Uh, once you get that SCORE invitation and you are all registered, you're going to go to the SCORE website, www.score.com, and you're going to go ahead and log on into SCORE. Once you log into SCORE, this is what the main page is going to look like. You'll put your email and password in, and the dashboard is going to look like this. If you watch these videos before, you'll know this is exactly what the page looks like. Score in the left corner, college search, my college is my profile. I've used this page before, so there's going to be some data put into this already because in the previous video, we did a college list. So Augustana is on here, the student. Uh, you know that they're in Round Lake. You know that they're interested in these types of activities. The student that we've been talking about our demo student, but today we're going to focus specifically on a career profile. So if you're thinking to yourself, I don't know what major I want to be in college, or I don't know what I want to do after college, this feels a bit overwhelming and I would like some uh, help trying to figure out what I want to do after college, that's okay. The SCORE gives you that opportunity. There is a career profile on SCORE where you get to answer a series of questions and you get to take a series of like brain exams and these really fun assessments. They're not difficult. You don't need to overthink them. It's not a quiz where you're getting graded. It has nothing to do with any scores for you. You just answer honestly, you answer as best to your ability, and it will give you this career assessment at the end that will help guide you and give you some suggestions on what might be best for you. So how do you get there? You move, you get into the main page and where you see it says my profile, you click my profile. It's going to say all of your information. This is the demo account. So it says RLS score demo. You go down to where it says career profile. You're going to click career profile. On mine, it says complete finish your assessment. I've opened this before. So yours won't say finish your assessment. It'll say start your assessment or something like that. You'll go ahead and click finish your assessment or start your assessment and it'll open up to a new page. U Science is a program that's partnered with SCORE. It's a pretty incredible program. Uh, U Science is really well known and uh, really just a really trustworthy, great program for you to use. It is um, a bit time consuming. It should take you about 30, 45 minutes to get through the whole program. You could do it at different times so you don't have to do it all at once. If you want to get through it all at once, though, you will get your assessment at the end where we'll give you your best career fits. We'll give you colleges that just that it'll give you like an assessment that describes you and then it will match you with some colleges. So if you can dedicate that time all in one sitting, you'll be able to get your outcome at once. But if you need to come back a few times, that's okay also. In order to start this, you'll click the Take the U Science Profile. Like I said, it's just a few brain games, and then it will give you some talents and amazing careers that uh, match you. So what kind of brain games are you going to do? You're going to do some comparison speed tests, some numerical reasoning, and some other events like that. Everything takes like five, two, five, ten minutes. Um, not very difficult. And again, these are not quizzes that I'm going to see the answer to, your counselor, a teacher, nobody in the school. They're just things that you're going to answer in order for the system itself to input all of this information and then output careers that match you. So, it really just takes all of this data, gathers it all together, and then outputs all of the information to give you what best fits you. The only thing that you really need to do is make sure that you're in a quiet place without distraction, you're on a stable internet connection, your phone is turned off, if 
if you're on your phone to take this, well then don't turn your phone off. It just wants to make sure you're not getting text messages, you're not playing any games, you're not getting um, messages from friends or teachers or stuff. You really want to be focused on this because if you're distracted, you may not be giving the best or most honest responses and that you're not being, again, you're not just getting distracted from other things. So try to be in a quiet spot when you're going through this. Like I said, you can come back, but just make sure you're dedicated to the actual activity you're in. This activity, the visual comparison speed activity is going to take you five minutes. So make sure you're dedicated for the full five minutes. You do need to start and finish an activity once you begin it. In order to begin the activity, you have to check that you're in all of these, and then you'll click start now. Once you click start now, it's going to start the activity for you. You'll follow the directions, go step by step, and then once you're done, it will bring you back to this page where you'll move to the next one. You'll work all the way through all of these events, all the way to the interest profiler. And when you finished, it's going to then give you your final output. I'll show you what that looks like in just a few moments there. So once you've completed all of the aptitude assessments that they give you on UX Science, you're going to come back to your main page. I went through and I created uh, this profile for RLHS, our demo student, and I went through and I did all the aptitude tests myself in order to see what it was like. It does take quite a while, so I want to give you some fair warning that uh, this does and it may take you more than one uh, session. So don't feel like you need to get this done all at once. Again, if you do get it done in one session, you'll get your results at the end, but this could take you quite a few sessions. I would commit maybe 15, 20 minutes, get through one, two, or three of the assessments at a time, and then just keep coming back. So maybe give yourself a few days to get through this. Answer the questions to the best of your ability. Again, no teacher, no counselor is going to see how you actually like answer the questions, nor does it give you results at the end. It's not going to tell you. There's some math-based questions. There's some memorization questions. It's not going to tell you at the end, like, yes, you did great. No, you did bad. You got question one, two, three wrong. It's trying to compile all of that data to give you your results. So for student RLHS, our demo student, I went through, like I said, took the quizzes, and this is what we got. So you go ahead, go ahead and click the aptitudes. And I just picked some answers for the student to see uh, what would come up. But for you, you want to answer honestly. You want to answer transparently. You want to do your best. Take your time if you need to. Uh, you are timed during it, so you want to make sure that you do your best. But if you don't know an answer, just give it your best shot. That's how you're going to get the best answer. So for demo, it said that they're a brainstormer. It shows their personal approach, and it gives you a lot of information. If you want to know more about it, you can click Explore. It will give you even more detailed information about this. So it really is a very, very detailed explanation. Um, it shows you where you lay, um, what kind of work interests you, artistic, realistic, social. Everybody's going to be completely different. Um, if you want to do even more brain games, you can if you're interested. Now, the things that you're probably going to want to know a lot about is what career fits fit you. So you can go ahead and click best career fits. So for our demo student, the career fits that fit them best are the careers that are going to pop up. And what's really, really cool about you science is not only does it give you your career fits, but it tells you what kind of educational investment. So how many years you need to go to school for, how many job openings are projected, and then what the average salary is for that uh, profession. So you can narrow it down. You can narrow it down by how many years you need to be in school. And then you can also narrow it down by what your interests are because you're going to be doing interest surveys during your youth science assessments. And you're also going to be doing it by your aptitude. So if I do it just by my aptitude, so that by the actual quizzes I took, um, that's going to break it down to this. So what it's saying is, is by the quizzes I took, these are the actual um, educational these are the actual assessments and these are the actual professions that I should be a part of. So it goes through, it picks everything out and it says these are some really great fields I can be a part of. So let's go ahead and just jump into one of these real quick. So let's talk about a broadcast news analyst. So this fits Two out of three stars, it takes four plus years. There's about 1,600 openings, $89,000. So you can click it and find out even more, which is pretty cool. Why did I meet this? 
because of my inductive reasoning, my numerical reasoning, and then it gives you more about it. This is what a day in the life looks like. It tells you what the job is. It tells you some core tasks of the job. It tells you why you fit into this. So it shows you where you fit on the scale. It tells you why some of your interests fit. And it tells you some other jobs that are pretty close to it. So if you think to yourself, okay, this sounds close, but not exactly. Well, then it gives you a whole nother set of jobs that are even closer to it. And it tells you where the fit is. So these would be pretty strong fits. That's a little bit closer, but these two jobs, editor and director, are very strong. Reporter, okay, not as strong as editor and director. How do you get to this job? It takes about four years. It's going to require a bachelor's degree. Um, and then it tells you more information, educational summary, and then it's going to take some on-the-job training. And what are some best majors in order to get there? Journalism, broadcast journalism, radio and television. Where are the best jobs at? There's a lot of jobs in these states here. And then it shows you where the average uh, growth is and how much the average national uh, salary is. It shows you where the jobs in the career are. It's a ton of information. It's really, really good. This is a very, very, very cool tool. That's what I'm saying. You do have to commit to a little bit of time in order to take this assessment, but the actual outcome and this information that it gives you at the end is really, really, really valuable information. You can use this and you can refine this as you move forward. So it's uh, pretty helpful, especially if you don't know what you want to do right now. The stronger your aptitude fit, the stronger the career is to what you've done as you've taken the quizzes. So I went to school to be a history teacher. It's funny that that's exactly the one that fit. This was one of the top careers. So even though I tried to take this exam with just picking some answers, it still matched me to what I wanted to be as I went to school. I went to school to be a history teacher in college. Um, and even though I did try to answer questions um, randomly, it still matched me up. So I am shocked, but um, this is one of the best assessments out there. It is a very, very, very highly rated tool and it did work. So um, I guess I shouldn't be as shocked as I feel like I am right now, but this is awesome. So it tells you how to get there. Again, it tells you where you need to be. A history professor is a little bit different because it's a college level teaching course. Um, but it's cool. This is a very cool tool. Again, it tells you where the jobs are. It shows you where they're located. It shows you how much they make. So you can use this tool here. If you want to go back to the main page of the U Science tool, you just click go ahead back to your careers. If you like a job that's on the page, if you're really, really interested in it, when you get back there, you can go ahead and save the career and then it will go into your um, saved careers for you. So that way when you're going through and you're talking to a counselor or when you're looking for uh, schools, then that will actually be something that it looks for. So say that you are interested in being a social worker. You can go ahead and save that career. It's going to go up into your saved careers and then when you're looking for schools, it will be there for you. So next is, let's go back to that main home page and let's go to finding a college. So now when you're thinking about finding colleges, it's going to help you um, with what you're thinking about. You're looking for uh, colleges, you can go here, or you can go right back to your main score page. And when you go back to score, you can think about what we just talked about. So you used um, history professor, you talked about social worker, all of those majors, now you can input into score. So that's how they work together. It's a pretty cool uh, tool together to use. So you can use uh, U-Science for multiple things. If you want to find some words that describe you, the describe you tool is um, just really helpful for if you're looking for jobs in the future. Here's some terms that describe you from what they've done. This explains work approach, interpersonal style. These are a bit um, further down the line as you get into like your professional career. These are very important terms. Uh, but it is cool to see. That's why I'm saying use science is uh, typically a pretty expensive tool to take because it does give you all of this information. I think the most important things for you to use as a student are really going to be the best career fit and find a college. So you take all the aptitude assessments, you do the best career fit, you look at find a college, and if you want to play around in describing you just for your benefit, just to see what it, it says, you absolutely can. But make sure you really spend your time in best career fit 
And then you can really like dig in to find a college on the score side of things. Or if you want, you can play a little bit around and use science. But score is really where you're going to want to like play in that uh, college aspect piece. So when you get out of um, use science, you're just going to go back into your score account. So you'll just log back into score like normal and you will be able to do all of the things that you traditionally do. So when you get back into SCORE, then use the information you receive from you science in order to really elevate your college search that we talked about in previous videos. So you can also use that data from you science if you're not thinking about um, your field as a field that populated for uh, college. If you were thinking about a trade, um, that's something that's really important that you use to talk to your counselor about. If you're thinking you want to get into construction, electrical, plumbing, HVAC, if you want to get into one of those trades and that's something that came up, talk to your counselor about it. There's internships, apprenticeships. Uh, CLC has some really, really great programs that you can get into that are uh, 16 weeks, uh, 8 months, 2 year programs that you can be a part of that don't require that full 4 year bachelor program. And so that's something that's really nice that you can still use SCORE and you can still use U Science to really narrow down those fields of interest for you. It's a career profile. It's not meant to like put you into a box, but it is meant to help you figure out what interests you. And it might give you ideas of things that you've never thought of before. So it is a little bit time consuming. It does ask you to do and dedicate a little bit of time. But the career profile, this career assessment is awesome. It's a really cool tool. I think that it will benefit our students and it'll benefit you to take the time to dedicate to it. Uh, I think in the end, you will be really surprised by the information that comes out of this career profile. So I do recommend it. If you have any questions, you can feel free to reach out to me, Mr. Bruno. I'm happy to help you. We can schedule a time to set up to get you into the U Science page and help you start the process. You do need to take the career assessment on your own as all of the questions are very personal and very much dedicated on your behalf. Um, but I'm happy to help you go through the assessment afterwards, to go through the data, to go through any of the questions you may have as it as you work through it. Uh, the information that comes out afterwards, that assessment and all the information that comes after is just really cool information. And I think that you'll really appreciate being able to see uh, your profile afterwards. So if you do have any questions, please, again, feel free to reach out to me. Feel free to reach out to your counselors. That's what we're here to do. Um, just because you're thinking that uh, you're in SCORE, that you have to be uh, thinking college, that's not necessarily what SCORE and that you profile is for. It's really meant for students to be able to use it to think about their future in general, college and career. So thank you for watching this uh, SCORE how-to video. Uh, I appreciate it.